Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Goob and look what I have. Ooh, I have this Montmartre um, new Supercell pouring kit. It's got 67 pieces, so I haven't opened it yet. Uh, it's got the, oh, well, I'll read it when I pull it all out. Let's see, I'll get it out. Okay, Supercell. It looks like a um, what has it got premium mixed and ready to go so it has two four canvases 30 by 30 it has a split pouring cup it has pouring paint varnish <laughs> my gecko thinks it's okay flat brush all the accessories you need for a perfect pour well there you go so i'm going to try it we are going to try it see if we get the perfect pour the my um plastic sheet for putting out let your super cell creativity flow creativity flow so using the split cup straws paintbrush and varnish oh it's got loads of stuff in it well there you go Oh, exciting! So exciting! Ooh. Move it over here. Got straws and stirrer sticks and all sorts. Everything you need. So if you're um, never done acrylic art and you you find the mixing of the paints daunting, then this is the one for you. So Supercell. So this is supposedly, I guess, to make the cells without adding anything else. It's got these pouring cups with it. Um, what's this? That's pouring paint varnish. So to finish your dried work, it has got a split cup. So that's awesome. Um, it's got a paintbrush for any, oh, oh this is, would be for varnishing your finished work, I guess. And it's got all these lovely paint colours. Let's start. I'm going to try this and see if it's um, what it's saying is um, super cell pouring paint. So okie doke. I'll miss out the boring bits and I will get started. I will put a link to this kit in the um, description box. I'll start off and use my little canvases here and do two different kinds of pours and see if this supercell um, idea works out. So I suppose that's what I've got, got it for. So I'm gonna get two of their little cups. I suppose I'll just start with one. Can't get that one out of there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start with, I think I might do a dirty pour and then I might do a swipe. So, I am going to um, start off with one. Yes, start with one. And I will pour the colours that I really particular like and go together nicely. And we'll see how it all turns out. So I'm going to, this is turquoise. So I'm going to give them a good shake because you should always give everything a shake anyway when you get it just to mix your colours up. So usually the first colour that goes in will be the last colour that comes out. So that's your turquoise. And I think I'm going to go a really, now I'm going to go the, which one's that? Looks like a navy blue. It's like, um, ooh, like a cool blue, I guess. Or No, it isn't actually, it's not as dark. So I'll go, it's navy. Don't forget to give them a good shake. And we'll put a bit of gold in there. I always love their gold. So I wonder if this Supercell, will, um, the gold in it will be like the other gold. I use their gold all the time, the Montmartre, which is um, this one. I love that gold. Um, it's very, very, 
very, um, I don't know, uh, what, what should I call it? It's very sparkly, it's very nice. So I love, love, love. Okay, and I'm gonna throw in this particular mix. I think I'll just stick with this colors is I'm gonna throw the fuchsia in here. So just give them a good shake, remember. So I'm gonna go the fuchsia. They're quite thick. So that's beautiful, wow. Um, and go the turquoise back on top of it and that navy all those colors are beautiful and then i'll go the gold go for gold oh oops look at those colors together oh they're super duper now i'm wondering if i'll have enough for the very edges on this i might use um just some no, actually, I won't. I'll just see if I can get this little canvas covered. I'm going to put some white on here. These are very small containers, so there is no way I would think that these small containers will finish off four of the 30 by 30 canvases that they've put in the kit. I would be very shocked if they did. Don't think they'll f yeah definitely don't think they would make four canvases because I'm almost out I suppose I should have read the instructions maybe you've got to add some water or something I don't think so no because they're pre-made no they're pre-made so uh, ready to pour so there's no way you would have to add anything to them but excited I'm excited so I'm gonna do a flip cup pour or a flip and lip so it's just flip it over oh look at the cells already where's his trousers there you go look at the look at the cells oh my goodness that is pretty cute oh look at those colors together and there's a million trillion cells in that those colours are super. Oh, wow. I've, remember, I've not added anything. It's supposed to be supercell pouring paint. So I'm just trying to gently tilt it. I don't want to lose any of it. That is so super uh, highly pigmented by the look of the paint. I'm not paid to do this or talk about this, but so I'm, I'm giving a, an opinion as I find it. Wow, that is, I can tell that people that haven't done this before, the acrylic pouring, or even if you have, and you don't have much luck at getting cells, easy peasy lemon squeezy this one, they're just popping out of, popping up out of nowhere. And that is gorgeous. The colors I've used, are just perfect but there is no way I had to get 330 by 30 canvases out of those paints in the kit I need more now I'm excited I want more I want more I really want to try a swipe to see if the swipe gives that super and I just finger pop it on the sides to make sure that is gorgeous. I am super impressed with that. Really, really, really. I'm going to bring you down in a minute and give you a look at this. Look at these colours and the cells in there. Super cute. Cutie patootie. Now, I certainly have to try and give a balloon kiss in this to see if balloon kissing works with the supercell paint but that is gorgeous it really is a gorgeous piece so i'll try the balloon kissing now okay 
I will get my balloon. I think I'll just use the smaller balloon. I'll just use my balloon that's got a bit of water in it just to see what a balloon kiss. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at all the cells appear in my balloon kiss. Wow, wow, wow. Certainly needs another one. Um, you could definitely, as I've told you before, if I can quickly find it, is gift cards. I keep gift, these are just blanks, gift cards, blanks. Uh, and it's got a pearlized surface. So if you want to make good of your balloon kiss, you set your card aside. And let's give this another, I'm gonna put that balloon kiss on my card. So there you go, you can make up your own little um, nice gift cards with your balloon kissing. Super gorgeous, super gorgeous. There's my gift card, I have gone crazy with it. So you buy a set of plain gift cards and you make them your own and you can um, write on them with your pen, anything you choose, message to your friends or family. Right here, I'm going to get on with the next canvas. And, but you know, I think I'm only going to get another canvas out of all these paints because, yeah, there's not that many there. I mean, not that there is a lot here, but not enough to fill too many canvases, I wouldn't think. So this is the yellow and it's called bright yellow. So I'll give it a shake. And remember, I'm going to do my swipes. I'm going to, going to do this one, test this one out like this. So yellow, yellow. Um, what colour would I? Okay, I love that. I do love orange and yellow. I'm going to try the fuchsia. some white in this All those colors together they're really highly pigmented I'm surprised really I don't know just thought they would be quite thin um, what color would I should I might add this blue here I was gonna use the black one to actually swipe it so see what the need so nearly finish those some of those paints there with just those two small canvases so you obviously would need to purchase the bigger um, bottles Montmartre um, paints are usually um, reasonably priced I always you know they are reasonably priced paints even my gecko likes them I'm just tilting this so my lines cover the canvas a little bit before I start swiping I'm gonna put I'm going to put a black line up there to put through. Remember, I'm not putting any silicon, any flow troll, anything. These are just as the paints come. So I'm using their black. Oop. It's probably way too much, but I will just tilt it a bit. Now I'm going to get a just a it's just a soft piece of a, a, like a file divider plastic. So I'm going to try to see what the swipe looks like through. Oh, I can see those colours coming up already. 
I mean, I can see the little uh, champagne cells. You beaut super duper. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness, so there you go. If you cannot get cells, which I still get so many people writing to me saying, I can't get cells. That's a very easy way, isn't it? You haven't had to mix paints, you haven't had to get silicon float troll or nothing. I really should try blowing a flower out with the, I should try it on a little coaster after. Wow, that is, those little champagne cells coming up beautiful I'm gonna um, put the heat on this to see if I can just uh, bring up some more they're really cute though cutie patootie I'm just trying to cover the back of my canvas and slide a bit of that black off that I've put on you can certainly finish off the sides of your canvas after you don't have to try and cover them but I need to bring you down to see those cells. But let me give it a heat one, see if they come up any further. That's definitely galactic, isn't it? Look at those cutie patooties. They really are like little champagne bubbles. Very cute cells. There you go. The colors that are coming through, look at those. Very cute. I'm going to try and do just the balloon kiss in this just for experimental purposes. Radio, try the little balloon in it again just to see what it comes up like. Wow, you could again put those uh, balloon kisses onto a card. I like doing them in the black because that then. Uh, you know diminishes that kind of solid black line that I've used to swipe but you can certainly use any color you choose to swipe it doesn't have to be black it definitely is like fireworks isn't it oh my goodness it is like fireworks okay I'm gonna leave that one I might do a little um, coaster and try and blow it and see if we get the nice kind of bloom effects we'll give that a go okay we'll try this I've got this a little coaster and I've got it on my uh, spinner winner winner spinner spinner and I'm going to try um, see what I can get with this so I'll put some of the white on there Um, I might go the fuchsia and the yellow. I think those colours will look lovely together. And um, I will add a little bit of that blue. Guild, oh. and then kind of let's see if this black will work as like a cell activator. Which oh. we'll see how it all comes. I'm gonna give it a heat, and I'm gonna use my hair. Oh, should I use? I'll, I'll try my straw because their straw is not a bendy straw. And I'll find a straw that's got a bent end better. Actually, I'm going to try my dryer. I'm going to try blowing it out with the dryer. Let's try. Ooh, I think I've added too much black, but look at all those little cells coming up. Wow. Let me do a wiggle through it. Use my skewer. I'm going to do a wiggle through it. And I'm going to 
some spinach. I think I've put way too much black in there and I've overpowered it. Let's see. Might be able to spin the black off. Oh, I think I've definitely put too much black on that. The cells are definitely popping up, but there's too much black. So back to the drawing board, I will put a bit of the gold again. I will go the fuchsia, the very, seem very highly pigmented because they're very, well, they're very highly pigmented. I'm gonna try, I might try the white on it. Or should I try, I'll just leave it with the blue maybe. Let's see if the blue will work. million trillion cells coming through the blue looks better doesn't it than the black I need to bring you down have a little looky see <laughs> look at that absolutely no effort no silicon no flow troll I am impressed with that that has definitely impressed me oh, I'm getting a bit of reflection back sorry about that but Pretty sure you could get, you know, with a bit more um, practice, I could get some even better results than that. But pretty happy with that. Well, there you go. There was something new that was sent to me to try. So I'm liking them. I'm just wish that the paint, amount of paint was more because they're 60 mils and there's no way you would um, be able to do the four canvases, 30 centimetre canvases that they supply with the kit. With that paint, you'd have to buy loads more paint. So I will definitely, definitely be looking for the bigger uh, containers of it. But somebody that just wants to do a few coasters and a few small pieces like this, then definitely. Good oh, good oh. All right, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back tomorrow. Look out for the photos at the end of the dry pieces.